opportunity? Are you willing to provide them food? Are you willing to join me, right worshipful Elmer Murphy, Brother Tim Rivers, Brother Burke Massey, and right worshipful Tommy Chapman? Are you willing to join us in this battle against tyranny? Are you willing to stand up as men who have taken an obligation who've taken on the four cardinal virtues. Prudence, justice, temperance, fortitude. Are you that man? It's not just words. If it's just words to you, please turn in your dues card on your way out. Please do that for us. Save us some time. No resolution in the last hundred years has saved masonry. What has, what is the bottom line? We got to feed our communities, brethren. We got to provide the food. Join us and let's feed Texas. Thank you very much, brethren. That is the report from Masonic Home and School. Thank you, Brother Clements, for that report. All those in favor of approving the report presented on the Masonic Coma School, please vote by using the voting sign among Masons. Opposed, same sign. Carried. Thank you, Brother Clements. We will now proceed with our work on resolutions. We'll take up resolution number 12. And now call upon Brother Tommy Ellison is recognized to introduce resolution number 12. Wireless, wireless one. one. Wireless, wireless one. one. Check one, two. All right, Brother Ellison, you're live. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my uh, most worshipful grandmaster, right worshipful and worshipful grand lodge officers, past and present, my brother and all, my name is Thomas W. Ellison, a past master of my lodge for two, and I move adoption of resolution number 12 as subsequently recommended by the Committee on Masonic. Thank you, Brother Ellison. Brother Ellison has moved the adoption of resolution number 12. The Masonic Jurisprudence Committee is recognized for its committee report on resolution 12. Most worshipful Grand Master, right worshipful Grand Lodge officers, past and present, I am Dan Turner, a past master of Pentagon Lodge located in Dallas, Texas. This resolution permit, proposes to permit the Grand Secretary, with the concurrence of a majority of the Grand Lodge trustees, to perform an annual review of and to revise, add, or delete Masonic forms as may be necessary or for appropriate for the compliance with the laws of the Grand Lodge of Texas or for the efficient conduct of business of the fraternity. It also requires him to notify via a written report of his actions the Masonic Jurisprudence Committee for that committee's action pursuant to the provisions of Article 107. Please remember that this resolution is, if approved, will establish a new Article 74B, not Article 75, as was published in the booklet. 
while we understand that it may be necessary to bring the Grand Lodge forms into compliance with any new, any new adjustments to the laws. Okay. In compliance with any adjustments to the Grand Lodge laws or the Grand Lodge of Texas, this committee believes that the current provisions of Article 107 provide for the examination, consideration, and reports thereof. And therefore, before the same shall be acted upon by the Grand Lodge. This procedure thus ensures that all changes are made in compliance with all the provisions of Grand Lodge law, adding another step and thus allowing for the revisions or deletions of Masonic forms prior to the review of Grand Lodge Jurisprudence Committee is unnecessary and does not comply with the requirements of Article 107. Your committee proposes the following amendment to the resolution. It is believed that the approval of this amendment will be consistent with the duties of the Masonic Jurisprudence Committee. And you should see the resolution amendment on the screen, maybe. Right. What we're proposing is changing Article 74B, the proposed amendment, and changing it to this. The Grand Secretary, with the approval of a majority of the Grand Lodge trustees and the Committee on Masonic Jurisprudence, shall annually review, revise, add, or delete all Masonic forms as necessary, as may be necessary or appropriate for compliance with the Grand Lodge the laws of the Grand Lodge of Texas or for the efficient conduct of business, the, the business of the fraternity, and we would strike the last sentence. Most worshipful Grand Master, I move adoption. I move for the adoption of this amendment. And I would add that we have spoken to the presenter, and he is in agreement with the amendment. All the members in favor of the amendment. Okay. Call for discussion on the amendment to resolution number 12. Is there any discussion on the amendment to resolution number 12? Okay. There being no discussion, we'll move to vote on the amendment. All lodges and members in favor of the amendment to resolution number 12, please press 1 on your electronic voting device. I'm sorry, forgive me. Uh, forgive me. All lodges and members in favor of the amendment to resolution number 12, please press number 1 on your electronic voting device. All lodges and members opposed to the amendment to resolution number 12, Please press number two on your voting device. The ballot is now open. My brethren, I've been informed that there's right now a problem with the clickers, and we're on hold for just a moment. Please bear with us. <laughs> 